Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are continuing on with renovating EA's not so nice looking houses. So I am currently going through a little bit of a creative slump as I've been probably talking about on every social media that I own. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing something that I just enjoy doing because it's there's low pressure and so I'm just renovating a house that EA built so this is Bedlington Boathouse uh, it is on a 20 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay it's pretty simple straightforward I did a CC renovation and made it look nice so there you go and uh, I know that I probably moved some things around and it's not really realistic well it's a video game sis before you even leave that comment I know it ain't realistic because it's a video game okay give me a break. <laughs> I'm only talking to the people that will be, you know, sassy in the comments. I mean, this isn't realistic because you're moving walls and you move the house and you move the roof. I don't care. It's a video game. Anyway, had to get the little bit of sass out. Had to get my little bit of Slytherin to speak. So uh, speaking of Slytherin, uh, I am going to be taking a little quiz along with you all because you know what? I'm tired of just talking about the build because it's just, I, I guess I just get bored easy. So, um, so here is a BuzzFeed quiz. It's a Harry Potter quiz, clearly. And it's called Your Soda Preferences Will Reveal Which Hogwarts House You Belong In. So I thought this was funny because it was just so random. But uh, I believe in the link in the description, if I remember, uh, to this quiz. So you can take it along with me if you want to pause and everything. But if not, you can do that Google search if you want to. But anyway, um, so let's start. Choose a soda. So we got Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, or Sprite. Now I'm a, like I'm not a fan. I'm not a huge fan of Pepsi because it's a little too sweet for me. I'll drink it if it's there, but it's not my favorite. Uh, Dr. Pepper's too fizzy. <laughs> so Coke is perfect. There we go. Next, choose a diet soda. Pop. I'm from Kentucky. It's pop here in the Midwest. Okay, it's pop, not soda. I'm gonna say pop for the rest of the video because we don't say soda. It's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It's just weird to us. Anyway, next choose a diet pop. Diet Coke, diet Pepsi, diet Dr. Pepper, and I don't like diet soda. If I had to choose out of all of these, I would pick diet Dr. Pepper. I know it's the better of out of all of them, but diet Coke is, oh, it's pretty, pretty darn good too. Oh, no. I'm going to go Diet Dr. Pepper because I, you know, I actually drink it. Choose a type of Fanta. Ooh, Fanta. What a time. Pineapple. Fa Girl, pineapple Fanta sounds amazing, but I've never had it. So I'm going to go with orange because grape soda is just, or grape pop is just a little much. Choose a type of Coke. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with just, ooh. Out of all these, I'm going to go with Cherry Coke. Choose a random type of soda. Pop. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Root beer. 7-Up. or 7-Up. Always choose 7-Up. And lastly, choose a final random pop. Cherry Sprite. Big Red. Sierra Mist. Or Manga Fanta. Ma Manga Fanta. Mango Fanta. I'm going to go with Cherry Sprite because my, uh, my aunt... Her restaurant, it's like a takeout place where you can get like, you know, like, uh, you know, burgers and fries and all the good stuff. You know, it's just that kind of place, you know, um, and uh, you can actually get like the syrup mixed with your pops so you can do anything you want. And I got Gryffindor, which honestly, I kind of I kind of see that a little bit. Maybe not. Don't really know. So, you know, that was an interesting quiz to say the least um I'm, I'm just currently scrolling through to see if there's any more good ones because you know it's it's just how it is oh here's one are you more luna lovegood or hermione granger Ooh, this is interesting this is super relevant too because we're the lovegoods this family we're the lovegood family so you know we'll see if i'm a true lovegood um first what's your hogwarts house i'm a hufflepuff what do you, what do you, what do your friends describe you as? Smart, loyal, bossy, unique, creative, or dreamy? I would say creative. That's like the word they always use. Are you more extroverted or introverted? Hmm. See, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp baby. So I'm both. <laughs> like I'm anxious as all hell and I get drained super easy being around people, but I also kind of need to be around people or I go insane. So I think out of all of them, I'm probably going to 
go with extroverted. Maybe, no, you know what? No, I'm more introverted. So which of these words calms you? Fire, mountain, water, or moon? Hmm. Mountain, for sure. That just draws to me. Lastly, what is your favorite smell? Books, caffeine. Caffeine ain't got a smell, sis. It's got a feeling, honey. <laughs> Perfume, flowers, fresh air. I don't like smelling. <laughs> it's such a weird answer. I think um, out of all these, you know, I would pick caffeine, but that's a that I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense. So I'm just I'm just gonna go with fresh air because I do. Ah, of course, I got Luna Lovegood. Of course, I'm more of a Luna Lovegood. I mean, clearly, I'm all over the place, and I hit the desk, and y'all probably heard that, and I'm sorry. So yeah, go take that quiz. It's pretty fun, pretty silly, pretty random, but uh, ooh, it's pretty good, pretty good. So ooh, 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 I saw one. I saw one that I would really, really wanted to take. Oh, here we go. Pretend to attend Hogwarts for a day and we'll reveal your worst quality. Okay, sister. Okay, first, which house are you in? Obviously, Hufflepuff. Already know this. Who are you best buddies with? Ron, Hermione, Draco, or Neville? I mean, being friends with Draco would have a lot of downfall. But, hun, just, just, just think, you know, he's on your side. If he's your true friend, like, really, he's not going to, like, turn his back on you. Ron did, but Draco. I'm going to go with Draco because you know how much I love Draco. Uh, we would be friend-zoned, but I would still be in love with him. <laughs> Which subject are you most looking forward to? Let's see. Dark arts, flying, muggle studies, or care of magical creatures? Um, muggles, uh, honestly, none of these. Let's be real. Um, I would, you know, I would probably go muggle studies because I feel like that would have like a lot of communications and psychology in it. And like, that's interesting. Which subject are you most dreading? Dark arts, flying, muggle studies. So, so it's the same. Which one are you most dreading? I would mostly dread care of magical creatures because animals not my forte dogs cats yes but anything else i'm just like ooh, i don't know what i'm doing and finally which animal is your soulmate i love how they used soulmate and not spirit animal because spirit using spirit animal unless you are a native person an indigenous person to, of this country or what have you not um if, if you are that and you're using spirit animal in a relig religious reference then fine but if you are you know someone like me and you're like oh my god they're my spirit animal that's cultural appropriation anyway um not to get too pc but i don't care um so which one is my soulmate rat goblin owl cat okay goblins are not animals in the harry potter universe they are p they are like beings they're not animals you don't refer to them as animals like that and you don't put them... Okay, I have a problem already. <laughs> anyway, I would probably choose cat. Let's be real. You're very clumsy. I mean, in Hogwarts, I would be clumsy. I mean, just imagine. I mean, like all them stairs. I don't do stairs very good. I get anxious with staircases. Um, so, you know, it's just... that's That ain't, that ain't it. <laughs> nope, that ain't it. Um... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is really fun. If you went to Hogwarts, who would be your best friend? I like this one. This one's fun. This one looks enchanting. Enchanting. <laughs> enchanting. Um, what do you do with your free time? Okay, so I read books, go to the gym, eat, take care of plants, hang out. I paint! Oh my gosh, it's perfect because I do paint. I mean, I would say I would read more, but I paint definitely. How would your family describe you? Hardworking, ambitious, creative, friendly, determined, or loyal? I would say creative out of all of these more than anything. What do you need to work on most? Having more friends, not being arrogant, studying more, my temper, listening to other people, not being afraid. Not being afraid. I definitely need to work on that. What's your house? A uh, Hufflepuff. Ooh, I identify with two or more. That's me, actually. I'm a Slitherpuff, sis. Which subject would you be best at? Herbology, potions, divination, care of magical creatures, charms, or defense against the dark arts? I feel like I would be, like, super good at potions because I like following instructions. But also herbology sounds like I would be, like, super into it. So I'm going to go with herbology just because I feel more draw drawn to that, I guess. How popular are you? 
I would say surprisingly popular out of those because, you know, even though like that's how I kind of was in school, which job would you rather have? Wand maker, shop owner at Diagon Alley or reporter for the Daily Prophet, Hogwarts teacher or a minister of magic, ministry of magic employee. So out of all these, I would love to be probably either a shop owner or a wand maker, probably a shop owner. That sounds like way more my, my jam. So, who would you? Who would be your favorite teacher? Um, out of all these, I, th- I want to say Sprout. She just speaks to me, so I'm gonna go with Sprout. Where would you rather hang out? The Forbidden Forest, the library, Hogsmeade, Astronomy Tower, Great Hall, or the Great Lake? So, I think I would definitely, definitely prefer. I think I would say Hogsmeade. Let's just go with Hogsmeade. So, because, you know, there's probably some, like, really cute-ass little coffee shops there with some books and libraries. Oh, it says yes. Which Horcrux, which Horcrux are you most drawn to? The diadem, the ring, the diary, the locket, the cup, the, the snake, or Harry? I mean, I'm most drawn to Harry because, hello, Harry. Um, uh, honestly, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I would say yeah i'm most drawn to harry (laughs) you got neville longbottom i'm proud of that so he would be my best friend also probably be my lover because you know neville longbottom (laughs) not longbottom if you know oh girl i i i got demonetized there but i don't even care neville longbottom if you know what i mean (laughs) um i'm losing it i'm sorry um it's Again, I'm trying to not put a filter on myself because you know what? I'm tired of putting a filter on myself because it's a lot of pressure. But anyway, before I get into another quiz, um, I just want to say, yes, I sped the footage up a lot more than I normally do uh, in this build because I was just getting so incredibly tired of my videos being so long. And the problem with the length and everything is that I would feel pressure to get it all done in a set amount of time and that pressure was killing my creativity so I was like you know what I'm speeding up the footage and that's it so anywho let's look for some more um oh this is the worst Harry Potter character quiz you'll ever take okay this one is interesting it's literally the topic the 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 whatever it is the the title that's what I'm looking what follows are five common relationship deal breakers rate your stance on each how big of a deal oh this is like one of those types of quizzes so you like okay how big of a deal breaker is it if they smoke cigarettes huge how big of a deal breaker is it if they still text their ex uh, I'm just gonna say it's not a huge deal but it's like a little bit it's a it's a little I mean it's just iffy you know I mean, I still do, just saying. But, you know, um, how big of a deal breaker is it if they just aren't funny? Um, kind of big, you know, just saying, you know, again, my ex was hilarious, you know, and he is hilarious, just saying. But anyway, how big of a deal breaker is it if they're a big, huge slob? Uh, not huge, but still pretty significant because, like, that can be, like, you know, that can basically be like, oh, yeah, I'm messy in this part of my life. Don't don't even get me started where I'm messy anywhere else. But how big of a deal breaker is it if they don't like pets? Mm, pretty huge. <laughs> Next, rate how much you agree or disagree with the following statements. I'm more of a talker than a listener. Agree. <laughs> Honest, honesty matters more than kindness. Uh, truth. Very true. Most people are well-intentioned, even if I might disagree with them. Uh, I'm neutral. <laughs> I tend to leave my responsibilities until the last second. I must say disagree. I'm an anxious person. Making a lot of money is more important to me than f- feeling fulfilled. Um, yeah, I must say neutral because, you know. Lastly, would you consider yourself clumsy? Um, somewhat. Brave. Mm, somewhat. Uh, cynical. Extremely. Selfless. I would say extremely. Crafty. Extremely. Alrighty, let's see what it gave me. Oh, this is, this is weird, but also kind of true. So basically it gives me, <laughs> the picture is so bizarre, but accurate. Um, the picture, it's basically like a hybrid. You, It basically gives you 
a result of two characters mushed together and that's like oh this is you so i am remyony groupin which is hermione and remus mush together you're a very level-headed and intelligent person who tries to approach every problem in a logical and analytical way your work ethic is second to none and you hold yourself to a very high standard as a result of your sometimes excessive amount of pers- preparation your judgment and c- contributions are greatly valued which is actually me to a t beyond anything i believe that entirely and the picture is funny because it's like it's 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 like david thewlis and emma watson's face merged together and it's kind of incredible because it kind of makes sense because the facial hair and the long hair and the scars i just weird ass quiz just gonna say that um and yeah have you can y'all tell i've been watching jenna marbles all day i've got that voice about me because she just has that way she talks and you know i just i don't know what's going on but (laughs) anyway um before the video comes to a screeching halt because it probably will before I know it. Um, all the custom content that I have used in today's video, I will leave a link and I will leave all the links in the description down below. Peacemaker, Illogical Sims, and the Pufferhead Stuff Pack is basically all I used in this video build renovation thing. Um, there is no video tour or anything. I, I'm going to do video tours once in a while, but I'm just kind of like, I just want to do screenshots cause they look pretty and I don't want to like redo them cause they all look really nice. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was, it was really fun. Um, I just, I've been finding it really, really not fulfilling to do videos the way that I was doing for a while. And do, using custom content lately has given me that, it's given me that space to feel like I'm actually enjoying myself when I'm building because it's less about, okay, how am I going to make EA stuff work? It's more about, oh, I'm going to make this look the way I exactly want it because I've got the stuff to do it with. So that's what I'm going to do from now on because you know what? I don't care about limitations and CC stuff because this is my gameplay, not anybody else's. And I got to do this for me. And that's it. And I'm talking to myself more than you all. I'm not trying to push anybody's buttons, but I'm being honest. But yeah, um, that is basically it, though. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, I've been again, I've been going through a little bit of a phase where my my content is just kind of all over the place. And I just don't know what I'm doing with my life and everything. And I'm just an anxious person trying to just get by. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know how what you think of the build in the comments. I am kind of in love with it. It's kind of amazing. And if the footage was too fast for you all, do let me know. I think it's okay, um, but I might slow it down next time. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles. i